Sounds what is good. going on today, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flim, man. And <laughs> old boy is right there in the corner. Don't mind that. I was taking Sounds it for good. a thumbnail. Well, obviously, you guys already seen the thumbnail. And by the title of this um, video, man, you guys already know what today's video is about. But before I get in and dive into it, I just want to say um, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. There's about... 54, 56% of you guys that watch the videos and aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, turn that subscribe button gray, man. It's, it's free to do. You can always go back and unsubscribe later down the road if you don't like the content. But please, we on the road to 1,000. And I think this right here is going to help me get Sounds there. Strong. So with nothing more to be said, man, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so <laughs> obviously I got that sitting there. It's kind of weird, but if you guys have, you know, been been watching my YouTube videos, you know, it's it's literally always over here in the, well, it's normally in the corner, but I don't know, it's it's weird. I have a crazy theory about all that, um, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna tell you guys what that is. I'll tell you guys uh, another time. If you guys subscribe, if I get 200 subscribers on this video, I'll tell you guys why, why I keep that in the corner. But with further ado, man, let's get into the freaking video, man. I have myself a brand new Pelican 10 foot, six inch kayak, man. And yes, I do have it inside right now. No, it's not going to stay inside. I haven't used it yet. I literally just bought it yesterday and it's been raining and you know, it's not the best day. So I was like, let's just do a little unboxing video, show you some, some cool little features about this thing. I've never been in a kayak before. So <sighs> man, y'all pray for me, man. But this right here, man, this is the the Catch 110 HD2, man, as you guys can see right here, um, this is the pedal drive system. Now, their pedal drive system is different. I've never seen one like it, but uh, if you put it in there, lock it in, it goes forward, and then you got to take it out and flip it out and put it back in, and that is what makes it go backwards. Um, let's start in the front, I guess. You have a nice little, little sturdy little handle, man. Um, I kind of wish it had more dry storage, but I really don't have dry storage. This right here, you know, put your tackle, put your bag. It's just storage. Um, you can put cups. And you can put more tackle box, tackle boxes on the side right here, um, on both sides. Um, obviously, this is where your pedal drive go. Put it in there, lock it in. Make sure it's locked. You know, unlock it, and you pull it out and flip it. This this chair. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This chair is freaking amazing. I did not expect the seat to be as comfortable as it is. But this thing, all you do is put it through this hole. From my understanding of it, put it through this hole, and then got it where you can lock it down. You know, just in case you flip the kayak, chair won't go anywhere, or just in case you happen to lean back, you know, you won't fall and you know knock yourself off. So, um, that's pretty dope. Let's see, what we got. One side handle. I really do wish we had two because carrying this thing up three flights of stairs is hectic when you only got one um, side handle. So right here you have rod holder. Rod, I believe this one faces the front and then these faces the back maybe. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. But uh, I have one, two, and I have three on the freaking other side man but this thing y'all have to help me come up with a name man it's 10 feet 6 inches man it's it's perfect size i just literally dump it put it on the top of my car and, and strap it down and go so i got more space right here um this is probably where i keep my tackle bag probably in the back or in the front until i figure out exactly what i want to do as far as tackle because i do have little um, tackle boxes, a bunch of them with different baits in there, but it's baits that I don't use. But I keep them in my car just in case I do need them one day. I can just go to my car and just pull out the little tackle pack. They probably fit better up here, but I do have some options, but I'm just not 100% sure yet. This right here, twist this off. This is the dry storage. This is where I normally would keep my phone. But I tried to sit down and reach back, and it's just a little too uncomfortable for me. The fact that I've never been on one, I don't know how stable it's going to be. But um, I'm definitely not going to use that for my phone. So, the one thing about this chair, um, 
It has a place where you can put pliers and scissors. Also has another pouch right there. My phone is a little bit too big to go right there, but that would be ideal for me. But it also have it on the back. And I think I'm going to use this. It's not going to be dry, but it's going to be a way for, you know, I'm sitting down, my phone don't fall out my pocket, you know, get wet or, you know, falling. I can at least have it here. Um, And it has another pouch. It has a side pouch. Obviously, that goes all the way through. You can put, I don't know, whatever you want there. Um, You have GoPro mounts, different mounts. I think fish finders, things like that can go on there. Um, That's something I'm looking into in the in the future so back here you have the rudder man now the rudder system is freaking dope so it has this little latch that keeps it in and then you know you can just strap it down so it doesn't go anywhere so okay so you unstrap it right check this out let me let me check it before i tell you guys wrong okay my fault it has to be like you know loose so i push the top one you see top bottom i push the top one forward and the rudder lets down okay that's the top one now i go to the bottom one and i push that forward and the rudder lets up i think that's so freaking dope i always wondered how on kayaks that come like this what do how do they get the rudder and stuff you know, the the to unhook it and stuff, but I mean that, that's pretty freaking dope. Um, two handles on the back, carry them. Have your little plug drainage hole right here. Um, another kite. Oh, right here. This right here keeps your paddle, so you just kind of put your paddle on the side, and then you just hook it down there, and that's for your paddle. And I actually just came back from the store from buying a freaking paddle. Um, right here is the, the pedal drive, um, not the pedal drive, but the little, I forgot what it's called, the little steer, That's this is how you steer it, obviously it's let up, so it's not moving, so it's let up, but that's how you steer it, man, um, for the most part, that's about it, you got GoPro mounts or, you know, whatever it is you want to do, talking about the seat, and that's pretty much it, man, it's just a little gray color, you know, kind of like a camouflage touch to it but it's pretty freaking dope i'm filming this video but i really am going to try to get out today as the sun just came up but i literally don't have too long so i still have to go strap it down and all that that stuff takes time and getting down these three flights of stairs man but i'll um, take a look at that man i hope you guys um can help me come up with a name for this thing um Lately, I've been talking about it, but I've just been calling it the yak. I don't know why, but let me set this up. See if you guys can see me or not. Hopefully, I'm not too close, not too far away. But um, I've been calling it the yak. Um, obviously, it's a kayak, so that's the yak is just short for kayak. But um, I, I like that name. So you guys comment below. Let me know um, name suggestions, man. But. Yeah, this is my new my new baby, man. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what I should get. Oh. <laughs> and your boy can swim, but he can't float. So I will have on the life jacket at all times. I promise you guys that. <laughs> but anyways, um, let me know in the comment section below, like what, what kind of cool mounts could I do, um, names, and just any any suggestions on you know, anything, anybody out there, they got a, a, a yak, you know, give me some, some tips and tricks. Because like I said, I've never been on a yak before, but I really want the channel to grow. So I think there's a lot of water around here that's not accessible, you know, just, just bank fishing. And um, I just thought it was the perfect time to invest warming up springtime. It's pre-spawn right now. Spawn probably coming soon, you know, next few days or even a week or so. Um, and I just want to catch more fish on you. Uh, on here man and, and not only catch more fish but bigger fish so i just want to bring you guys the most content and the best content um that i can possibly do and i think this kayak will definitely help me do that and plus i love fishing and i just love being outside so i get to get a different piece out there on the water with this bad girl i'm not gonna say boy bad girl so let me know but 
Um, I'm going to stop talking. And y'all stay safe. Y'all stay beautiful, man. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, man. Peace.